Hey, what's going on? My name is GP. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about what Google Stadia needs to do to improve and become one of the major gaming platforms. Now, I've used Stadia since they launched a the free, uh, free tier back in April. I've played several games in it. I like Guild and whatnot. It's a decent game. And in my opinion, what the first thing they need to do is they need to add all the features and add a lot more features that they promised when they when they were first hyping up for launch. Like I know YouTube streaming is becoming a thing soon. Uh, so is crowd play. So just click the click the plays a new thing where you can just click on a link in a YouTube video and then buy it and play it and whatnot. Buy it and play it and whatnot. And that's cool, but I think they just need to add the rest of the features that are missing and add like you know friend request messages, you know all that sort of stuff. Now the second thing I think they need to do is buy studios. Now I know what people are probably thinking, why? Well, Google's a trillion dollar company. They're, they're worth roughly the same as Microsoft. And Microsoft can afford to buy studios, so why can't Google? I'm pretty sure Google could afford to drop a few uh, $3 million or $3 billion on a few game studios, whether they're indie studios, trip places, like, you know, Bandai Namco, King, um, Square Enix. Just buy some of the smaller companies, you know, as well as a bunch of indie studios, and then get them to make games for them. And that leads us on to the final thing Stadia needs, is um, they need games. Now, I know people are saying they've got like 70 plus games on the st st server so far. That's good. That means by the end of, by the time it reaches the first year, by the end of the first year, which will be November 19th, 2020, they would have probably had more games added to the service than the PS3 had during its launch year. And not PS3, PS1. But what Google needs is Google needs some the heavy hitters. They're missing GTA 5, they're missing Saints Row, they're missing Call of Duty, they're missing Battlefield, they're missing Star Wars Battlefront. They're missing, I know Minecraft, they're technically missing Minecraft, Minecraft's on everything, even though it's an Xbox-owned uh, game. It's weird. But they're also missing, you know, any racing, there's not many racing, uh, big name racers on there. You know, it's not getting Project Cars free. Uh, slightly Mad Studios has always confirmed they're not porting, Slightly Mad, Slightly, um, Slightly Mad Studios has already confirmed they're not porting Project Cars free to Stadia. So, where's that leave as well? They need to get in new games, and they need to get a truckload, you know, maybe they're maybe they're exclusives, maybe they're not. Just speak to some companies like uh, House House to get Untitled Goose Game, they even get stuff like Don't Die Minerva or The Culling, you know. Who else is that? The, you've always spoken to PUBG Corporation about getting PUBG. Also, another thing they need to do is they need to get companies, stuff like Apex Legends and Fortnite, these big, like these big free to play games, just really to try and offer people a chance. Where like, hey, you guys want to play games? Whenever, wherever you are, whenever you want, um, pay for Stadia, and you can access all these games. You know, Fortnite, Apex Legends, whatever. And I know Google's got a, having a spat with Epic Games over App Store policies because of something that happened between Fortnite and Apple. But nevertheless, I think what that's the biggest problem uh, Stadia has is the lack of games. Because yeah, 70 games is good and all, but it's missing Call of Duty, Battlefield. You know. GTA, Saints Row, and also they need to get some of the older games on there as well. Like I know people who complain, oh, they're porting games that are like three years old. I'm like, yeah, they, what they need is they need a steady stream of new releases and a steady stream of old games added to the service as well. Because you know, if they offered like maybe they get the, the previous two Red Dead games, Red Dead Under Nightmare, Red Dead Redemption One, maybe they write them on Stadia and then they offer them as a bundle. I can see people buying, uh, more people buying Red Dead Redemption on Stadia then because you can get all, all the parts of the game in a bundle or you know outside of destiny they need to, to destiny and borderlands they're like their biggest shooters and you know what doom's big but it's missing the 2016 doom and the previous doom games so that's Steve's biggest problem is the library at the minute but i think that if they you know sort all the features out and get all the features added and implemented invest in more studios and then just get games. They need to get games, horror games, shoot, uh, side scoring shooters. You know, FPS games, racing games, survival games. Build your own games like Crater. Like Crater apparently is really popular. Personally, I don't play it. I, I own it. Like I'm weird. Like what I did with Xbox Live and Google Stadia and Stadia Pro was I claimed all the free games. I don't play them all. I just claim them all just so I've got them in case maybe I can get bored one day and I want to try something new and I haven't got the money to buy a game so I just got them there. 
yeah, that's pretty much sums it all up, ladies and gentlemen. Is that's my f uh, full thoughts on what Stadia needs to do to actually improve. And um, so I didn't use Stadia gameplay in the background of this video. I don't have the controller, so I'm yet to figure out how to record uh, gameplay footage from Stadia. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and that stuff. And if you use Stadia, comment down below and tell me what's your favorite game. Just what's your favorite game? What game are you looking forward to the most? Personally, I'm looking forward to their rollout well, super massive games that they've partnered with uh, to make, which is supposedly a new horror game. Which I'm down for that. Xbox hasn't made Xbox hasn't made Xbox made any other platform, and they haven't got any exclusive horror games coming out soon. So, well, besides the medium, but that's on Series X. So I'm just looking at it like, you know what? I might have to uh, might have to buy that game on Stadia and play it on my phone. Anyway, this is PGP, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.